okay so far we have discussed about how to operate the two dimensional conversion convolutional operation okay i hope you have um, try this um, activity through our live worksheet and again like i said before or like i said earlier uh, that when you dealing with the borders there okay in these cases you can just ignore the border meaning that at the output image you can either remain the value or you can put zero 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 at the border pixels okay that is actually referred to the next slide okay discussing about how to do a border solution meaning that uh, when you are dealing with border it can be either you simplify by having set all the output image the border should be zero 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 or you can also bring the input value or you remain the input value you just bring the value to the output side without any convolutional operation okay you just focus on the center part when you want to do some conversion operation because in general when uh, we do some hand calculations there um, we always uh, you know the, the mark always focus on the center part we, uh, we we don't consider the border as the mark there okay another thing is I would like to remind you uh, when you do hand calculations okay when you do all all the operation if you add the, the final okay as a final product or the final image please make sure that when you get a floating numbers you round the number into the to, into the nearest integers okay because uh, why we do this is because uh, again like i mentioned previously when we talk about by default uh, digital image in your computer for example 8 bit per pixels then you can have uh, only integers number from 0 to 255 you cannot have some number which is for example 0 0.5 you don't have that numbers okay you don't have 0 0.6 you don't have 1.3 okay if you get 0 0.6 then please round into one if you get for example 10 point okay 10.3 then you just round into integer 10 okay uh, otherwise um, this is this is a must and then um, if you are providing a floating number at the end of the your calculation I will deduct the marks okay because we want to do some something which is mimic to our simulation in computer of course when you are trying anything in computer when you want to display the image you need to to provide the matrix in integer form it doesn't matter is it in the is it 8 bit per pixel or 4 bit per pixel and so on each and every uh, intensity level resolution will always have integers numbers okay the difference is only range it's either can be from 0 to 255 or 0 to 15 but it's an integers number it's not a floating number so let's say you do some calculation and you find out the final output is in floating number please round the number into the nearest integers number okay okay now let's focus on uh, i just uh, get i just uh, try to uh, do some uh, review back on our whiteboard there okay let's go to this whiteboard okay this one okay i just extended uh, the because this one is a very big topic okay chapter three so now i extend this one in into this uh, three diagrams there okay in, in this uh, diagram there okay this is the one that we learn in this chapter okay if you talk about the neighborhood processing okay neighborhood processing then it divided into two which is a kernel base and non kernel base and then i already uh, mentioned about which we talk about the kernel base it involves two dimensional convolutions okay and it is involved two dimensional convolutions and um, it's also known as a linear filtering process in, uh, in some textbook and then later we will try to discuss okay in kernel based processing okay we will discuss about these two uh, main 
filtering process okay under this kernel based neighbourhood processing okay we have two main or two (uh) general filtering process which is known as a smoothing filtering process as well as a sharpening filtering process and then (uh) now let's focus on smoothing okay in smoothing filtering process okay there's a two type of filter involved for smoothing operation or smoothing filtering process which is known as a averaging filter and gaussian filter okay okay kernel based smoothing or also known as a smoothing filtering process the purpose of smoothing uh, operation or smoothing uh, filter is to is used to noise reduction and and one of the common approach of applying this operation is as a pre-process step in removing or in removal a small detail pure to the object extraction and bridging the small gap in a line or a curve okay and this one is also known as uh, to highlight the gross detail okay again like i said uh, in uh, smoothing filter there's a two type of smoothing filter which is known as a averaging filter as a gaussian filter okay these are the uh, averaging filter this is the kernel or the window of the averaging filter this is the gaussian filter okay just just uh, remember that this is our w if you if our w x x y is this one then that is known as a averaging filter or average filter but if our w here is this one then that is a gaussian filter okay even the coefficient is different but the purpose are similar which is to smooth the image okay to to make the image more smooth as compared to the input image so it's a linear filter then of course in order to to get or to operate your image with this filter you need to to, to compute a two dimensional convolution between your image and this filter so in other words i will like uh, okay and and what have been uh, after you apply this this um, two filter then you are actually you are smoothing your image so that's why one of the main uh, things that's that obvious to be seen in your image is that it will cause a reduction in the image sharpness meaning that your image the output image will become more and more blur as compared to the input image so that is the purpose of smoothing operation because you want to make it smooth you want to make it more blur so uh, in order for you to do that this is the two filter that you can choose okay either you can use averaging filter or you can use a gaussian filter to do a smoothing process okay again uh, before we go deep into discuss about this thing just remember this is the factorials so of course if you want to compute a two-dimensional convolution please bring this number inside so meaning that this one must be 1 over 9, 1 over 9, 1 over 9, okay, and so on. Okay, same goes to this Gaussian. You must bring inside, so it should be 1 over 16. It's 1, 2 over 16, 4 over 16, and so on. Okay, please make sure that you do that. Okay, so in order for you to, 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 to compute a smoothing filtering process, doesn't matter whether you are using averaging or Gaussian, then you need to do a two-dimensional convolution this is the same formula that represent a two-dimensional convolution so in other words okay in other words okay uh, in other words if i draw the block diagram of smoothing filtering operation this is what the operation and uh, this is how we graphically represent the operation in other words in order for you to find your gxy then you need to apply or you need uh, to do to do the two dimensional convolution between the fxy and your window wxy and then the window or the kernel here it depend on what you want to do meaning that uh, you can choose averaging or average filter or you can also use gaussian filter 
so meaning that (uh) just the different is just the kernel itself the coefficient itself the coefficient of the filter itself so if you are applying the averaging filter then this is how it's look like okay one 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 over nine so you must do the convolution between the image ma~ the matrix (uh) in of your input image then you need to apply the two dimensional convolution between this input image (uh) this this input image with this average filter to obtain or to perform the smoothing filtering operation and then you get your G so if you want to use Gaussian then you also can choose the filter coefficient or the kernel of the Gaussian filter to convolve with this input image F then you get the G X Y as well and uh, doesn't matter whether you choose a uh, average filter or Gaussian filter the output is almost similar because the purpose is you can see that the comparison between the F and G or the comparison between the input image and output image you can you will see that the output image there seem to be more smooth more blur as compared to the input image meaning that the sharpness of the image have been reduced when you applying a smoothing filter operation okay this is some example a practical example when you are applying the uh, averaging filter this one is actually this a is one this one this is the original image but when you apply the average filter with the size 3 time 3 this is what happened and then this is what happened when you apply the uh, average average filter with 5 times 5 okay just don't confuse if we talk about 5 times 5 okay the average filter should look like this Okay, when we talk about the average filter the element should be always one 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 but the factorial outside is not one over nine it should be one over 25 okay that because the different the different window size will have different factorial numbers there same goes to the Gaussian okay Gaussian also have their own code uh, if you have changed the filter size then the coefficient and the factorial values there it's um, it's a little bit different but uh, this one just to give you some example if you have applied a different window size let's say the, the, the filter is average filter but we are vary the size means that the size now become more and more big bigger than before okay 3 times 3 5 times 5 9 times 5 9 times 9 and you find out the larger the, fin the the average filter size you can see that the, the the blurring process or the smoothing process is more and more obvious as compared to the input image but the question is as you can see here do you think the image was enhanced by applying this smoothing filter because remember that uh, when we discuss about image enhancement it's actually we want to enhance something but in terms of appearance here okay we can see that we are not enhance the image when you're applying a smoothing it seem to be the match is the image is more and more blur and we cannot see the detail there you are actually you know reducing the sharpness of the image which is seem to be not so enhanced it not so enhanced in terms of you know uh, in terms of the quality if you if you talk about uh, from the perspective of the appearance of the image however why in image processing image enhancement oh, i'm sorry image smoothing is considered as one of the method for enhance the image okay of course if you remember like i said in the previous uh, chapter when we talk about image enhancement it's not just you know improving in terms of the app in terms of the or the for the perspective of appearance okay we also talk about the application driven okay image enhancement is application driven meaning that maybe in certain pro application big application okay we want some image which is you no know, 
we want to reduce the fine detail we only want to retain a gross a gross detail okay so if you can see over here is a very detail in, okay doesn't matter is a gross detail or fine detail but in maybe in certain process okay we need to fit some image where that image only have a gross detail like this one okay because this one it seem a very gross detail is remain but the fine detail have been removed so that's why smoothing process is also considered as enhanced process uh, considered as enhancing of the image because may might be certain application they need this kind of image as compared to this one because if you fit that process next process with this one that might it might interfere something or it might you know uh, reducing the performance of the system because the system need this kind of image okay a smooth image or blur image so that's why uh, smoothing is considered as one of the enhancement technique in image processing okay i hope that you can you, you clear about that things okay you can see this example okay uh, by smoothing the original image we can get rid a lot of fine detail which leave only the gross feature for thresholding okay uh, this is some application that uh, you just imagine that um, let's say okay let's say this image is represent okay a, a microscopic image and then actually the one the cell that you want to look at it is uh, the, the cell that represent by the big block there big white block and the the small block there small white block a dot dot white uh, pixels there actually is noise and then uh, in order for you to apply the segmentation okay this one thresholding is a process that under the segmentation that you will learn in the P, in the next chapter i think the second last chapter where you just remain the region of interest and then the rest you will set as a black the region of interest you or object you set as white but without applying a image enhancement let's say you have this one you applying the thresholding process then you also remain the noise the, the, the small pixel white small block there but when you just you know when you apply the smoothing process in between this process okay before you apply the thresholding uh, thresholding process in the segmentation then the, the, the image become more smooth and then you know you you only remain the the gross detail okay the gross detail but the fine detail have been removed by applying a smooth smoothing process or smith smoothing filtering operation and then when once you fit this one into the shading process you can see that you manage to remove all that dot point that considered as a noise and just remain a big block where that is actually your region of interest that you want to observe at that level just just uh, assume that that is actually the the, the the one that represents some interest cell that you the, the microscopic people want to to observe while that dot dot point is just the some uh, hardware defect or hardware fail uh, hardware defect that that come from from your your un imperfection of your hardware or uh, medical imaging uh, system that may produce that dot white white dot as a noise there okay so this is how it's work meaning is that now smoothing is actually in, is a is is some kind of enhancing process because they they are in, they just uh, you know uh, remove the, the the detail the the the, the fine detail but remain the gross detail because the gross detail represent the the region of interest while the fine detail actually have some noise which will interfere the system in term of you know if you talk about the the performance of the system if you don't have a smoothing filter then it will the, the performance of the whole system will be dropped 